Do you have a hunger for knowledge of God and His works? A blessed day to all. This is a reflection for the day. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. San Lorenzo de Manila is a Filipino saint venerated in the Catholic Church. He became the Philippines' first martyr after his execution in Japan by the Tokugawa shogunate during its persecution of Japanese Christians in the 17th century. Lorenzo was born in Binondo, Manila, November 28, 1594, to a Chinese father and a Filipino mother who were both Catholics. Lorenzo served as an altar boy at the Binondo Church where he earned the title of Escribano because of his skillful penmanship. He later became a member of the Cofradia del Santísimo Rosario, married a Filipina named Rosario, and had two sons and a daughter. The Ruiz family led a generally peaceful, religious, and content life. However, in 1636, Lorenzo was falsely accused of killing a Spaniard and with the aid of the Dominican fathers, he sought asylum on a ship and sailed for Okinawa on June 10, 1636, in the company of three Dominican priests and other companions. At the time, Christians were being persecuted in Japan because its rulers feared that the Spaniards who conquered the Philippines through the use of religion, would do the same in their country. Thus, when Lorenzo and the missionaries arrived, they were immediately arrested and thrown into prison. After two years, they were transferred to Nagasaki to face trial by torture at Nishizaka Hill, where they were tortured by being hung upside down over a pit. This form of torture, said to have been extremely painful, had the victim bound with one hand left free so that the individual may signal their desire to recant, leading to their release. Despite his suffering, Lorenzo refused to renounce Christianity and died on September 29, 1637 from eventual blood loss and suffocation. His last words were, I am a Catholic and wholeheartedly do accept death for God. Had I a thousand lives, all these to him shall I offer. In today's Gospel reading, Jesus reassures the disciples of the coming of the Spirit of Truth, who will guide them to an understanding of his prophetic words, and in a few sentences reveal the unity and dynamics of the workings of the Holy Trinity. The Blessed Trinity is a mystery of our faith, forever shrouded, unless the Father Himself reveals it to us. Jesus says that it will be the Holy Spirit that will guide us to a deeper understanding, so that our faith can show itself in our lives, even in the face of adversity. Therefore, to stop learning and growing in our faith is to thwart the Holy Spirit's plans over our lives because He has more to tell us. Faith is a personal gift and is meant to be possessed. It should become our own and not be reduced to mere sentiment. We must adjust to it, never to tailor fit it to ourselves. As Pope Benedict XVI said in a homily before his election, an adult faith is not a fate that follows the trends of fashion and the latest novelty. A mature adult fate is deeply rooted in friendship with Christ. Jesus said, He will take from what is mine, implying that the mission of the Holy Spirit is to remind us always of what Jesus taught to us. He is faithful to His mission by teaching Christ to us. In the same way, Possessing the faith means sharing it 
making it fully alive and capable of growth. As Pope John Paul II said, those who have come into genuine contact with Christ cannot keep Him for themselves. They must proclaim Him. Therefore, we must proclaim the one truth we have received. As Jesus said, He will not speak on His own, but He will speak what He hears. Our love for Christ can be measured by how faithful we are in transmitting His message without alteration. May we become firm and steadfast, like San Lorenzo de Manila, whose faith grew in the face of adversity through the presence of the Spirit of Truth. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father in heaven, thank you for the gift of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who comforted us through the aid of the Holy Spirit. Grant us the grace to desire knowing you even more, and in the process, to have the zeal to proclaim your goodness even to the ends of the earth. This we ask in Jesus' holy name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless couples for Christ and our Catholic faith. <music>